So why did we spend so much time and effort putting in all of this data, building this foundation for my database? Well, the reason is because sort of how we look at a database, why we have databases is one, to collect this data, to store it. But the other is to ask it questions. We create what are known as queries. So if I think about it, for example, my patients, you know, I don't want to see all of this stuff. I don't want to see the patient ID. I don't care about that. You know, I don't even want to see the city, you know, notice, yeah, maybe Wilmington, North Carolina or their birth date. I don't need any of that stuff. I just need their email address. For example, I'm writing out a, uh, you know, email to them saying that we'll be closed uh, the following week for construction purposes. So how can I grab all of that data but not all of the excess? Well, what I can do is I can come in here to my Create tab and instead of going to Query Wizard, this time we're going to go into Query Design. Now, Query Design, what this pulls up is a new sort of window with a new dialog box, basically the same dialog box we saw when we were building our relationship. We basically say, what tables do I want to work with? Well, again, I just want to work with one table right now, so I'll select the patient table and I'll click add. And I'll close out of that and I'll just do a little resizing because I like to uh, see things a little easier. And now that I've got this data, again, what do I need? Well, I'm going to go ahead and need their first and last name because uh, I want to have a custom email that says, hi, you know, Tom. So I'm going to go with their first name and I can double click it and you notice it's appearing down here. If I double click on last name, it appears as well. And as soon as I double click on email, I now have built that out. I've built this structure. Again, now if I take a look at that, all right, I've got those, how do I execute this query? Well, you notice we have this nice little exclamation mark, this run section right here. That's actually what will do it. If I hit that, it will run through my query. Now the one thing about a query is things can change. Notice how my first record is first name, last name, email at Cape Fear Community College. I can change that to Adam Guida, a Guida at cfcc.edu. That change is actually going to be affected inside of my patient ID. Notice all of a sudden Adam Guida, a Guida is showing up. So these queries, all they do is they act as a, a mask. Uh, say, for example, uh, uh, Drea Gorski over here. I don't have an email for Drea, so I'm going to just add one in real fast. Honey boo boo at hotmail.com. Not everybody has a classy email. Come on. Drea likes honey boo boo. So, I can continue to make that change. That Drea is going to be inside of my patient table. Where would you be? Drea, Drea. there we are, honey boo boo. Now, you may have noticed when I clicked on something, I, I switched between my views for a second. What happens if I accidentally did not include everything I need uh, in my query? Well, what I can do is I can go back to this view tab and notice that kind of same thing that we saw with our table design view in our data sheet view, I get with my query view. I can switch between the two. So at any point in time, I can make any kind of change as I want. Say for example, I want to go ahead and I want to uh, just look at, for example, uh, people from a different uh, or specific city. Well, what I can do is I can come in here and I can add in that city. Now, again, let me take a second. Let's see that. I've just added in city and we get a few different ones. Now, let's say, for example, I want to look at all the people from Hartford. Uh, well, Hartford, okay, how do I only get emails and, you know, the first and last names of people from Hartford? All right, well, down here, you notice we've got a few different options. We've got field, table, sort, show, criteria. Ah, well, criteria, that's an interesting word there. Criteria, basically, that's why we have so many of these squares right here, is because we can add in criteria to our query. For example, inside my city section right below here, I can say that I only want to look at Hartford City. 
So only show me anything that runs on Hartford. And I run this. Now I get only the records of people from Hartford. Pretty nice. One thing that I can do is, since I know now that this is the Hartford uh, people, uh, this is the email addresses of all the Hartford people, what I can do, I know there are some blanks, what I can do is I don't need to specifically have it be viewed. I don't have to see Hartford because, again, it's just repeating data. One of the tenets of databases is don't repeat yourself. So I'm going to actually come in here, and you notice that checkbox right above our criteria. Well, if we look, that is actually saying show. And if I uncheck that, what that does is that explicitly says run the criteria, run the query, uh, and only show me uh, the first and last name and email of people from Hartford, but you don't actually have to show me the Hartford name. So it's a little bit of a nice uh, little nuance there that now I don't have to have excess stuff when I'm building my queries. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just save this as its own query. And because, again, we're looking at our Hartford uh, patients, I'm going to call that Hartford patients.